Nice. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Rosalie. She from uh, from Wamina, uh, the CEO of Wamina. Thanks to the uh, thanks to Laura and thanks to organizer for uh, for giving us the opportunity to talk to you today uh, about what is the new opportunities our Chinese companies can have in mid east market after the pandemic. Okay. Uh, the arrival of new corona epidemic in 2020 has caused the world economy to fall to a trough and at the same time the original problems of the emerging market in the Middle East have become increasingly obvious. First, Captures low market recognition. The frequent economic problems in Middle East have laid the capital to low or over the uh, over, all, over all market recognition. Second, the shortage of internet talent. Uh, we all know a lot of internet outstanding talent in Arab are outflowed to other countries. And the third, uh, the economy is frustrated under the uh, epidemic after the outbreak, uh, the economy of many countries have been hit hard all over the world. And the first, low internet advertising recognition. Uh, and uh, Wamina has already um, has been has been working in uh, Middle East market for more than three years, and with an eye on um, our internet market by creating. Uh, games and the social apps. Uh, whether to end uh, the market or not, we firstly must have an accurate micro judgment. Based on this, we have done a lot of research on the basic situation of mina marketing. Uh, today, let's share with us. Um, let's take a look at the survey, uh, just one survey we have done, which to help us to judge the potential of the mina market. We all know that there are more than 400 million people and 22 countries in the entire Middle East and North Africa. But are uh, all of these countries are so rich? No, obvious no. Uh, from perspective of GDP per capita in the Middle East countries, GCC countries um, GDP and non-GCC countries GDP are very so far. Such as Qatar's GDP per capita is 52 times more than the one of Yemen. At the same time, the 4G coverage of GCC countries is far higher than other countries. So if we really want to be in there to find the opportunities, it is clear that now we need to focus on GCC countries. But the obvious weirds stratification in Arab market also allow us to see the North Africa and some non-GCC countries are uh, our future markets. In the next five to 10 years, being ahead in advance can give us the opportunity to occupy market of these countries. And uh, uh, we can see uh, and the, we can see this picture and the uh, uh, GCC represents the largest market for mobile application within MENA region. While North Africa is showing the fastest growth in the last five years, the global mobile apps market is forecasted to grow at a um, cover of C point 15% between 2017 to 2021. Uh, and the MENA region is uh, aligned. The mobile app market growth is driven by increasing use of mobile devices and the high smartphone proportion, which currently stands at over 58% in MENA region. Continuous shift from offline to digital services and the influence of social media are likely to further boost the mobile app market growth. The MENA region represents over 10% of global mobile traffic, app traffic. Games are the top category for app downloads followed by social media and the music apps. And uh, this, from this picture, we can see uh, nearly 
of people pay to download apps or make in-app purchase, and a high, uh, high per proportion of users in MENA pay for download apps than in one of the most developed uh, markets. For example, in US, only 33% uh, of users pay for app downloads. Uh, 30, on the contrary, uh, is the one of the highest percentage of paying customers for app downloads. And uh, we have seen the huge, uh, we have seen the huge potential in the Middle East market. Middle East market has um, about more than 500 million user, uh, users, and the mobile phones are very popular in, uh, with an average of 1.2 devices per person. However, there is a shortage of apps. We can see this in this picture we can see there are four technology companies in 20 top 20 company was white list and even five in china list but there is no no one no internet company in them in in middle east among the list uh, the list of middle east so uh and uh, this market is very very similar to uh, the early stages of China's market in 2012. In our opinion, according to the theory of time machine, it is an uh, in inevitable trend for internet companies to occupy the top 10 in the MENA market within five to 10 years. And uh, now uh, after all this, uh, we can see the picture is more and more clear. First, we know the entire market is still in deep blue ocean and facing the shortage of talent in the Middle East. We have been doing the export of talent and uh, training, the training of local Arabic talent. Uh, and the strong combination of experience and language will help us uh, never fail of the shortcoming of talent uh, that we said before. And now it is really a uh, early stage of internet advertising. We have a very good chance to buy our user in this stage. And also the epidemic has affected the economy. It is also a good opportunity for online socialization and entertainment, such as the Confu policy in the Middle East and the closure of uh, most cars and uh, markets on Friday and the sun Sunday, so the people have to go to online to solve their needs, such as social, such as um, buying something, and um, also many governments have encouraged the development of new uh, formats of e-commerce to help the economy uh, to recover. And uh, okay, we say these opportunities. And uh, to catch these opportunities, we can only find the correct uh, track based on glo global mapping and combining our own advantages. From Amina's own genes, we have chosen our advantageous areas, games and social, to meet the entertainment and the social needs of people in Middle East. And uh, at the same time, in these two areas, our competitors are also in the early stages. So we also have more advantages from the development stage and the market uh, occupation, occupation. And now let's briefly introduce our products for you guys. Uh, we have over 30 million, million people, uh, Arabic speaking users and records, uh, 300 million users loggers every month. And in the future, we'll get a big status of users to intelligently recommend ads, products, or service for users. And the first uh, uh, product I introduced for you is Demon. Demon has a revenue of $300 million uh, uh, for the one month. And it, it has been adjusted to be in line with Arab gaming uh, habits. And the second uh, product is Zing. Zing is an exclusive chatroom app. Oh, 
for ourselves. And uh, we always devote ourselves to provide best social and uh, entertainment ex experience in the world. The third is Anvin. Uh, Anvin is a content recommendation product based on big data analysis at AI. And the first one is Tab uh, Tabla. Tabla Life is a large parenting community uh, to help parents uh, to uh, help parents um, uh, with infants aged zero to nine uh, to to six, and the app has over uh, five million users with one million active users every month. The last one is Haya. Haya is number one uh, women community app in Millie's uh, market and gives women a new lifestyle. The app has also over 10 million users with 1.5 million active users every month. And based on our experience in these products, there is a very, very important point. At this stage, we need to make our product with a strong cash flow capacity, uh, such as demand. Uh, let's introduce it. Um, Demon is a tower defense and the 3D cards mobile game. At present, there are more than 60, uh, 600,000 uh, registered users, and the monthly income in May is uh, 21 million RMB. Uh, uh, yes, and uh, if you are interested, you can watch our videos. Okay, uh, could you? Could you guys see? Wait a moment. Oh, we have some. Okay. Okay. Oh, what the? That's my idea. Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Mm, let's move on. The uh, uh, team launched in the United States, Taiwan, the South Korea for testing and uh, optimization in January. And in May, we started our global campaign. As of now, our global ROI has reached 105% uh, 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 on 30 days, and uh, GCC region uh, has outstanding performance, reaching 150% to 200%. Uh, it's amazing. And uh, 
its gain. And our, uh, on the social road, we evaluated the current market environment and launched the uh, voice chart room Zen, uh, app Zen. Uh, the name of our language means Superb. Uh, this product is aiming at MENA region only. Currently, there are 280,000 registered users and the monthly income uh, exceeds uh, 1 million RMB. We have launched on uh, January and the advertising hasn't been increased yet. The online in uh, MENA on the 30 days has reached 115 cents to 190 cents. The, and the retention, okay, and the retention of uh, active users for the second day has also reached uh, 52 uh, percent. In three, um, any on MENA market on the epidemic, there are both uh, challenges, but I think the more is opportunities. Uh, and emerging markets need everyone to participate together uh, to uh, for mutual benefit and winning results. One MENA will continue to explore on this path and uh, to discover MENA region more and more. I'd like to thank everyone for your participation today. I hope that um, we will have the opportunity to meet together uh, offline next time. Uh, thank you. Thank you for all of you.